Oh, check it out, they just launched a new weapon. They just launched a new weapon. New shotgun, this is an, uh, an automatic shotgun. I think this one doesn't require pump action. Just, you just load the cartridges, the, the shells inside, and fire away until it's depleted. It's got a, a mechanism inside that reloads, reloads the, the cartridges for you. I think, I'm not sure. Oh no, 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 actually the, this, the, this is the mechanism right here. This is the pump, the pump action mechanism. You have to, you still have to pump it to recharge, to, to reload the shell into the chamber. here for a bit. Greetings operatives, thanks for your continued support and feedback during the early access phase of first assault. In this patch we are introducing the new SG shotgun, KSG G1, new SG KSG G1 shotgun, a new weapon skin and we'll also be adding rewards for the Operation Geofront event and Priority Controller event. Review the patch notes below. A GKSG G1, a bull, a bull pop shotgun with a long barrel and a mechanized chamber. Allowing for longer range shots and continuous fire. Well, it's a long range shotgun, you can actually shoot shoot the shells in the shotgun fire a bit a bit longer with this, with this shotgun. And it's got the it's got the long barrel and make a nice chamber. This, this is the mechanism right here. And pull it back. And charge the shells. The chamber. And it allows for continued fire. So it's a, it's a, it's a, a semi-auto shotgun. No, maybe more or less. Still, I think you still have to to pump the the mechanism, but maybe it's faster than than the other ones. Or maybe you just have to pump it once you introduce the shells, maybe, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna unlock this weapon now, but I, I, I'm gonna see other people playing, maybe, playing with it. Not a great fan of shotguns, I prefer SMGs and assault rifles. And, and sniper and machine guns. Shotguns are not a great fan, not, not play with them too much. But yeah, they're, they're useful for, for close combat quarters. This one... Uh, even has a long barrel and can shoot at longer distance. But yeah, there's people that enjoy them. So they gotta, they gotta add weapons for everybody, right? Not just for some people. SCAR45 Guardian, apparently popular in private security firms. Oh, so this is a new skin for this skin. This is our rifle 45. SCAR45. Pattern popular with private security firms. All right, so it looks like this is a this is a pattern that security firms use right, in, in the lore of the game. It's a nice a nice introduction they made for the skin. All right, so economy and rewards reduce the price of the MP5K S3 Grasshopper by skin by a hundred a thousand X. So they removed the thousand X price from this skin. Grasshopper skin that would the one with the greenish stuff. Uh, it costs less 1000 X if you want to buy it with next with real money. Reduce the price of the AK 47 Arctic skin by 1000 X. Okay, so those two skins that they introduced in the last patch now get a reduced price by 1000 X. 1000 X points discount on both of them. So in the event, added rewards for operation your front event and priority controller events, so if you did those events, participated and you won something, and won the rewards, and now you, you get them on your inventory, I'm gonna get them. Uh, I participated in both, I went to Geofront, I had to, to get 31 plus kills and I got them. And on the controller event, I had to do, to get those kills in the Geofront map, map, when they introduced it. In a controller event, I had to Right, the controller. I had to get controller medals on, on uh, demolition and team conquest matches. So, and I got two of them once per day. So I got I got two rewards, two 10k GP rewards. Oh, also, I did additional support for future events. So yeah, uh, for future events. So 
All right, so it's like they are working on the on the event frame. They're probably they're probably working out some new events, like coming up with them, like uh, brainstorming new events and rewards, and uh, making the developing the software and the 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 the, the stuff that they they need to implement the events. All right. The back the back end stuff all right so okay that's it this is it for this patch this this new patch it's the march patch all right released today 10th of march 2016 all right so i'm just gonna log in i'm not gonna play now just gonna log in to uh, collect my day rewards oh it seems like i already collected it today so i just have here the event rewards i just have here the event uh this this was from the Geofront uh, Geofront uh, event the Geofront when they introduced the Geofront map Geofront demolition I got 31 kills uh, you needed to get 31 kills no actually the reward for that event the Geofront event is this is the ex 300 experience percentage bonus 300 percent experience bonus and these two chipsets just drive in the quick skill you you would need to get 31 plus kills in the in the demolition in the Geofront map, once they uh, in the time frame where the event was on, all right. Once they release the Geofront map, and these two G ten thousand GP vouchers, I got them in the priority controller event. I got the controller medal twice in two different days during the event, so I got double ten thousand GP when I get twenty thousand GP. Actually, I forgot. I forgot to change the game title here on on, uh, on Twitch. Do that real quick. So I'm not in the wrong category. I gotta reload the chat. Hey, uh, by the way, is there somebody in chat? Did somebody? Did somebody wrote something? I, I think I had the chat bugged. I just reloaded. I'm not sure if somebody wrote something in chat. If you did, if you are watching the channel and you wrote something, please let me know. And uh, if I didn't answer, I'm sorry. I had the chat bugged out. I was disconnected. I just reloaded it. So, uh, all right. So, yeah, change the game. Yeah, I'm in the right game now. Okay. So, just gonna collect. Just gonna collect these vouchers and the. And the the booster I'm gonna use this booster later and uh, also the these uh these chipsets these two chipsets they're useful for for combat check it out the rewards that we we were in in the inbox now have have a uh, hundred years a hundred years uh, time to collect to be collected so if you came back to the game in a hundred years you would still be able to collect them if the game was online by then because like 365 days would be one year, so times 10 is 10 years, times 10, 100 years. Alright, so I'm gonna collect this shit and use it and buy the weapon. I'm still... I bought the, the semi-auto sniper rifle for Saito the other day, now I'm gonna get the, the machine gun for Bato. And then... When there's another event up with some more rewards, I'll log in and I'll play some more and I'll use the booster and the chipsets. Chipset drop rates increased for ends of March, for end of match rewards from March 10th to 17th. Alright, so looks like the next event is this. Starting today until the 17th, you'll have uh, chipset increased chipset drop rates. Alright. And also there's the new shotgun that they released they just released today. This is the uh, the long range semi-auto shotgun. All right. And uh, there's new. There looks like there's new sights there and uh, a grip. No, it's discounts. KSG ta the attachments for that shotgun are on discount, are on sale, ten percent for also that whole week until March 17. All right. Yeah. So. Just let me just use this here. Let me just use these these GP vouchers 
and get enough GP for the machine gun. I already had 37k on the matches and shit and from leveling up. I had I bought the sniper rifle and I still had that spare. And now I'm gonna get 57k and be able to buy the machine gun which I already unlocked. It's already in my armory I think. I just need a, a bunch, a little GP. If I didn't unlock it I would need to spend like 250k GP. But since it's unlocked with training points, the points that you get in the match while you're fighting, since I already unlocked now I can buy for 42 Okay, only. I'm gonna buy this for Bato because he's the weapon, heavy weapons guy. I'm gonna buy this for him. I wish they introduced the feature that uh, where we would be able to save different weapon loadouts for each character, but right now it's not possible. You have to select a loadout. You have to select. You have three of these loadouts, and you have you need to have the same three for all the characters. But hope in the future they they make a feature that where you'll be able to change. To have different loadouts for each of the character. Right now, like you, you're in a match, and then we, when you come out, you are in a match queue in the lobby, uh, and you cannot even if you select another character, they'll have the same weapons. Like for instance, you have these loadouts here, this this SR rifle, this pistol, and the sniper rifle and the SMG. Like I have, I select another character, and, and it will have the same loadouts, the same guns. But I wanted to him, them to have different. Because I want to put this machine gun on Bato and the sniper rifle on Saito. And I, when I select them, I want to them to have those weapons loaded already. I don't want to have to go to the armory and change them here and shit. All right, every time in the middle of the matches, because the match, the time, sometimes when you are doing a bunch of matches, the the break between them is very small, uh, and you don't have time to do all that shit, all right? You don't have time to come here to the armory and do, change all these shits, all right? And the grenades and shit and, and the chipsets and all that shit. So if you have everything already loaded for the operative that you want to use, you just select the operative and it's got the different stuff already loaded there. That's much that's much easier to play like that. I already suggested them this on the forums to them on, on the Steam boards. I already suggested this feature. Let's see if they if they implement this, it would be, be really good. Alright, so I got the machine gun it's for this guy here, for Bato, because he's the heavy weapons guy. He's got a cybernetic arm launcher, has a rocket launcher on his arm. And I have, I also have this guy, Saito, he's a sniper, he's got Hawkeye implant, he's got a, a thermoptic implant in his eye. Instead of having an eye, he's got, a, he's got a, an optical implant. And it's got Hawkeye vision, which is a vision that uh, links, links this the implant links to the satellites by a wireless connection and gives him vision, improved vision over the battlefield. Gives him Hawkeye vision and also thermal vision, thermoptic vision. He's able to detect uh, enemies uh, behind walls and behind ob obstacles and catch their thermal signature, see them even when it's dark or when uh, where they're not directly inside. Right? Got the, the automatic sniper rifle for this guy and the uh, machine gun for Bato. And then I also have Maven. Maven, I like to play the, the SR rifle or the sniper with the barrier, with the barrier. And here, Motoko, I like to play also the SMG or the SR rifle with the, with the stealth. He's got thermoptic stealth, all right? So, if you're, for instance, if you are playing Motoko and you go stealthy, you activate the thermoptic stealth. Nobody is able to see you except for except for Saito because Saito has a thermoptic vision in his implant. All right, so if it's activated, you, he can still see you even if you're cloaked. All right, He's, he captures he captures our, your thermal signature signature on the on the implant on ocular ocular implant. Uh, the only way you you would still even if you, even if you're cloaked, you would. Uh, the only way you could bypass that was if you were wearing a cold suit and I believe she wears that in a movie in the movie in the Ghost in the Shell movie in the anime series when she cloaks up she she's wearing an overall and I believe that's a cold suit it's a suit that protects against thermoptical thermoptic signature detection right so so guys like Bato wouldn't still wouldn't not even guys like Bato wouldn't be able to see her all right with the thermoptical Thermoptical implants, ocular implants, alright. So, 
stealth and cold suit is the way that she can stealth and nobody see her, not even battle with the thermoptic implant. All right. Maybe it would be cool too if they added that to the like, like uh, I don't know, like maybe a, a weapon, uh, an armor skin that would give the cold suit and protect protect her from being seen from Saito. Oh, also because Saito, when Saito activates, it has the, the heat sensor, the, the Hawkeye and the heat sensor. It's the term optic vision. And when he activates the term optic vision, if the other players are around him, the other, any other player, they skill sync and they are also able to see the cloaked guys with Motoko and her buddies. They are also able to see everybody. Not only Saito, but the others too, if they skill sync. Well, maybe... If they added a feature where you are able to buy a, a cold suit out of the market and equip it so you don't get detected by thermoptic vision, would be cool. And uh, yeah, and Motoko, she's really good with the stealth, she's really good to capture objectives and stuff like that. And plant bombs, diffuse, it's not really useful. So, yeah, maybe I would suggest that in the, in the, in the forums too, maybe so they see if they want to introduce a cold suit oh and also other thing uh, you have uh, you have some other guy this guy is, is Togusa he is kind of a tech guy like with drone and stuff uh, he also likes revolvers and you also have this guy here Ishikawa who is a cyber is, he deploys cyber sentries he's a cyber brain warfare specialist just like Motoko and you have this guy who hyper sprints he's like a ninja he's like a sprinter guy goes really fast and this guy here Burma is kind of support he uses nano gel and heals everybody up uh, yeah so but uh, I think uh, Yeah, I think there's a guy, some of the guy that has a, a feature. No, maybe not. Maybe this would be for Saito. I think he's he's he's, he's, he's got sensor, but it's only for hit. He just detects the thermal signature, doesn't detect sound. Uh, because I know there's there's some guys that go when they go. Oh no, wait. There's a there's a chipset for Motoko when she cloaks. There's a bunch of chipsets that improve your skills, your skill sync stuff, like each of the skills from the operatives. If you load skill syncs with additional bonuses, they will uh, improve. Like for instance, you have Motoko with the camo, with the thermoptic camo, and then there's a uh, chipset that you can load in the, in the slots, and it makes also uh, it makes you uh, go silent, all right? So that people cannot hear where you are, all right? Even if you're running, you can run all you want. Nobody will hear you with that chipset, all right? So that that must be like a I don't know, maybe uh, sound suppression. It's a sound suppression chipset that makes your footsteps uh, makes your footsteps uh, silent. All right, makes you go silent. So it must be modifying something in your cybernetic body that makes it silent. All right, uh, and uh, there's I think there 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 should be another chipset for Saito that counters that also that makes a counter for that. When, when he loads it, he would be able to pick the, the sounds even if you have that equipped, all right? Uh, uh, like a sound, uh, uh, sound, sound wave triangulator, that's it, sound wave triangulator. Maybe he would be able to use a chipset with that, with the sound wave triangulator. I'm not sure if there's that, but if not, I will suggest that too. I used to play a game that had all those features. A game called Dystopia that was like an FPS too, like this, a cyberpunk FPS, and it had implants like that for all the for all the classes, for the medium, heavy, and and light classes. So I already suggested them in the forums to look at this game because it's a really good game. It was a really good game back then, and has a lot of features that can, that they could uh, imitate or make versions of too, because it's also a cyberpunk FPS. All right, so I'm not gonna play this for now, but I uh, already bought the machine gun. Oh yeah, I wanted to try it out. Put the machine gun here for this guy. Or for a battle. 
Nobody's getting away from my arm launcher. See, he's got the arm launcher. Now, with the machine gun too, he's gonna be real OP. I can just, I can just destroy everybody. You can just like, you can just like fire a lot of, a lot of, heavy caliber rounds at them and then wreck them with the, with the, the rocket launcher. And the thing, the only, I have here also this, this, this cool, this cool skin that you can buy with next, next points. Real money. The only thing that I think is missing here really is the ability to, to de make different loadouts for each of, the, of them. Because right now, if I select the machine gun on this guy, urban combat, that's my specialty. I select the machine gun and then I'll have it selected all the time, even if I go to play the other ones. So I don't, I don't really want to do that. Okay, so I select this guy. All right, select. For instance, now see here I selected different guy, but he still has the same weapons that the, I used on the other ones. I don't wanna, I don't really wanna use these weapons with him. With him, I wanna, I wanna put the shotgun on him, like here. I wanna load this shotgun because he can take the shotgun kick, and he's a heavy weapon guy. And then here, I wanna. Something else there. Shotgun for close range when I get in close range and for in for long range the machine gun to suppress enemies at long range. Suppress suppress big mobs. Oh, looks like I cannot I can't uh, I can't load other weapon, what's wrong? wrong with this? What's wrong, Browse? <laughs> Nobody's getting away from my arm launcher. What's wrong with this? Can't can change the weapon. So here, machine gun, machine gun, boom. See there, that's how I run over with this guy, with with the shotgun for a close range. And uh, this, if I wanna, oh no, wait, actually I cannot do, use them in the combat at the same time. I, I can go into the match and use all of them, so. <coughs> but I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to, uh, after, after each round, I want to be able to select a different one if you want, if I want. So maybe this, if I want to go close range, I guess I'll have most of the time I'll have this this machine gun equipped and the rocket launcher. He's got the knife here and the rocket launcher, the cybernetic rocket launcher on the other on the other arm, I think. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I want to have the ability to play shotgun a little bit with him if I feel like doing that. Maybe here, maybe here I would load the, this rifle, this M4 rifle I would also. Maybe I would do it like this, I would put the M4 rifle here and the shotgun for close range. Normally for close range I use an SMG, but with, with Bato I would use the shotgun. Heavy weapons guy, so here, shotgun, M4, M4 with the sight, the M assist there that I bought for it. And the machine gun. All right. So this this is the loadout that I would like to have for Batu, and and also maybe get a get the Beretta, get the Beretta later for him from the market, or the revolver, the high caliber revolver. The revolvers are more luck for for. Uh, for uh, for the other guy, what's the name? Ishi no, not Ishikawa. Uh, I forgot the name. The other guy that, that likes revolvers. Oh, this is a Magnum. But maybe, maybe, maybe for this guy also for Bato because he's a big guy, so heavy weapons guy. So yeah, it's the loadout I would have to. I would like to load, but unfortunately, you cannot use different loadouts on these guys yet. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna keep with the other one. For now I'll try the rifle, but... I'm just gonna keep with the other loadout loaded because I, I, I'll, I'll probably play Motoko or Maven next, the, the ones I like to play best. So I'm gonna have these, these weapons loaded for them. And also these assault rifles are the ones that are more equipped, that are more upgraded. So SMG. Try the machine gun for a bit. Let's, let's go into the shooting range. I didn't upgrade it. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna buy a barrel and a muzzle for it. There's no need to, to buy a sight because this sight is enough for for this kind of gun. No need an upgraded one. It's a machine gun. It's not supposed to be very accurate. Just supposed to to offer firing suppression, fire, firepower to the team, suppressive firepower in situations where uh, you are outnumbered and you want to keep the the enemy team at, at, at distance at a distance so you'll just fire barrages of barrages of bullets at them and don't let in so that you can suppress them and keep them pinned down alright in a location no, you don't need to be very accurate for that with that used for a for for precise shots for precise shooting this is a weapon for uh, a barrage fire for suppressive fire so. so you'll just you would just like put a tripod on the ground and, and put yourself on the ground lie down on the ground with the bipod and shoot at the enemy. Or maybe like hide yourself behind some, some barriers some or some shit like that. Or go Rambo mode for Rambo YOLO, YOLO swag. Just holding the gun and rushing at the enemies. shots with it. Precise shots but it's not as accurate as the rifle. The barrel is not that long and uh, the mechanism also is uh, not does not provide much accuracy. A lot of recoil and
Alright, so that's it for now. I'm gonna swap back to Motoko. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple rifts in Diablo and then I gotta go FK for a bit. Got some stuff to do here at the house. 